No, I think in, in the other part I was thinking about is that it, what you're doing and what um, kind of looking at the West during the Civil War illustrates is the fragility of the, of the American, of the US Republic that yeah, there is the South breaking away, but there was the same danger of the West breaking away in some form or fracturing. Um, I mean, the Mormons already indicated that. And um, I guess that's kind of taking that another step. We have Mexico to the South that Napoleon is getting involved in. I mean, who's to say that that Western Republic doesn't come under the influence of say the British? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the American Republic was a really fragile political experiment. It was less than 100 years old by the time the Civil War broke out, and there was no saying how many independent republics the United States may have fractured into. Um, and, and this is something that a lot of American statesmen were sort of thinking about and worrying about for decades. I mean, Thomas Jefferson didn't think that the United States itself would exert control uh, over the, the length of the continent. He thought that there would probably be a number of Anglo-American uh, republics sort of may have acted in concert, um, but, that, but wouldn't necessarily form one uniform nation. Um, so it wouldn't have been shocking, I think, to, to anybody in 1861 to see the United States split, split North and South, split East and West. Mm -hmm. Which on some level takes a counter to um, what scholarship usually says is happening during this period, the more kind of unifying of states like in Italy or in Germany. And here is sort of the opposite conversation of it's, it's breaking apart. The experiment didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. That's a really good kind of point. Um, well, and then I think the, I mean, you mentioned it already, but I think the other part of the Civil War West that we really have to consider. It's not just a white man's story, right? No, not at all. You know, white men are the minority in the story. Um, they happen to be the minority who have the most political power in most instances, um, but they can only retain that power by negotiating with uh, other populations and coercing other populations. 